So we were looking a little bit at some of these solo ideas on the law of a game. And a lot of the law of a game ideas were based around just one chord or one scale. But often in a song, the chords will change. So when the chords change, there's like a different group of safe notes or notes that match, we could say, right? So the first chord that would match here, we have a C chord. So there's three letters that would match with that C, E, G, or cow's eat grass. You can remember that. So anywhere you play those three notes, these are the th different triad shapes, just reorganization of those three letters, C, E, and G. So if you play them on the second, third, and fourth string, they can be really, really nice for soloing. So find those notes here, E, G, C, G, C, E. You can finger them one at a time or make full on chord shapes. But when you're soloing, you can kind of do one at a time as well, or just a couple. You don't have to play them all together, but each of those notes are your targeting harmony that you want to match. The high G, C, G, and E. So when someone's playing a C chord as the backing track, I'll send you those and you can play along. A C chord. Then you would try to play only E, G, C is that first chart, C chord arpeggio, the triad, three, three letters, and the different inversions, and noodle in between them, but only play them, slide into them, vibrato, the higher frets tend to be really great for solo playing because they're going to be a higher separation from those really low C chords, um, which is in the open position. So learn them, sing them, then improvise with them to a backing track that's only one chord C. Then the song could change to an F chord. So here in the F chord, any F chords that you know includes three letters, the F triad F, A, and C. Reorganized all over the place, they can be strummed or improvised. We're finding the triad shapes, F, A, C, A, C, F, C, F, A, F, A, C. Second and third and fourth string where you can use those notes as your targeting tones to harmonize with. So sliding in between them, playing them one at a time, different combinations of a couple of strings to make really pretty harmonies. It sounds really beautiful. But again, remember to make phrases. So when you're improvising, don't just randomly play notes. Try to play a bunch of notes, target an end, do a rest. Like F, A, C, a bunch of notes, and then end on maybe this note, the A, rest. Then that was a whole phrase, targeted on a note, ended, rest. That would be over an F chord. So you could solo to an F major backing track, just one single chord to practice matching those chord tones, F, A, C. Then we have the G chord, chord tones, and gibbity, reorganized in different ways, D, G, B, G, B, D, B, D, G, D, G, B. And if you plus 12 frets, you can get all the shapes even above that as well. So playing those notes as your only solo notes to match the harmony of the G chord when someone's doing a single G backing track, G chord. And then you do phrases on the G chord. But I end on D, rest. Let's do another one. D, G, B. Maybe this time I'll end on B, rest. So trying to make it like a whole sentence that ends like with a punctuation and a rest. Because remember when we're trying to do solos, usually we're trying to sound like singers and singers kind of sound like people that speak sentences and sentences have ends of phrases and little rest. So play a bunch of notes, target a chord tone and rest and repeat. The next backing track could be on an A minor chord. So a single A minor chord. So we're going to use the blue E and C and the 
green A. So you can find those notes on your fretboard, E, A, C, A, C, E, C, E, A, E, A, C. Um, this video is a pretty quick run through, so if you find it hard to find these notes, send me a message for, for lessons and I can give you some more tips on how to break down and find all these notes on your fretboard. So the A minor triad are the notes A, C, and E, but we could play a chord, A minor is your backing track. So these are only the notes in the chord that you're jamming and matching. So now you would play E, A, and C in any way you want, only those notes with this game. And then end on one of those notes, choose your target. This time I chose the E. I ended on E, rest, end of my phrase, then go again. Only playing the notes on this final chart here, and then ending on maybe this time the C. Maybe I'll put C and A together, both of those notes, I like the sound of that. So that would be over top of someone playing an A minor chord, A minor. And then you solo. Sometimes just holding one note out sounds awesome. Like just go e, some nice vibrato, some nice shakiness. That's all you need. One or two notes, C and E, E, C. That can be just a beautiful lead solo there. We don't always have to pluck hundreds of notes fast. Sometimes a long held note sounds really beautiful, especially if you're jamming and you play opposites. So if someone's doing really busy strumming as the chord player, the rhythm guy, person, you could play one long note because they're playing short notes. You could play long notes. If they're playing low, you play high. So trying to come up with phrases, staying within the triad, the chord shapes, as a chord changes or just starting with single backing tracks for each chord allows you to harmonize match your notes to be musical have phrases that sound like singing and it allows you to separate or pop out a little bit from the backing band if by doing opposites of what they're doing if they're playing fast you could play slow if you're playing slow they could play fast if they're playing low you could play high if they're playing soft, you could be loud. If you're being loud, they could be soft. There's all kinds of different mixtures you could experiment with, right? So here's a much more advanced approach to Lava Game soloing triads with chord changes. Uh, C chord, F chord, G chord, A chord, and it's still trying to keep some of those color systems in mind. Blue is really calm and relaxed. Orange is like a bit of a spicier departure, the F note is um it's not a super resolved sound the g chord has the b note in it it's a really tense i would maybe call it lava red it does have some of the other common tones like g is in the that chord the a minor chord has some common tones as well the blue c and e are in the a minor and the c chord but the green is an added color tone so we're using A as a green color. And it happens to be an A minor and F. So there's different chords that match, which is kind of interesting. So you'll find a lot of common tones between chords when you're soloing. I was making this for a student, so I figured I'd share it with you. Have fun.